People seem to really enjoy the Baseball Collector's Edge mystery box video that I did a couple of days ago. So I'm up in the ante and doing the jumbo box. Yes, we're going to get really wild today. Hope you're all having a terrific Thursday. And uh, here we go. Starting off with Aaron Judge. Not a bad way to start off. Sandy Alcantara. Yasiel, P Yasiel Puig. Talk about overrated. He did make one all-star team. Went from the Dodgers to Cleveland to the Reds. I think there was one other team. He's probably playing ball somewhere in some organized league, but not in the major leagues. Eduardo Escobar. Now we go back to the junk wax. Darren Fletcher. Joe Girardi. I think in the last rip, I pulled a couple of Joe Girardis. He is a World Series winning player and manager. This is Xavier Hernandez. Luis Polonia. He was on a couple of those World Series winning Yankee teams. This is Randy Knorr. Glenn Allen Hill. Willie Adamas, this is, what set is this? I know this set, uh, Capstone Baseball. Uh, Bo Bichette. Ah, Mookie Wilson. Best known for hitting that dribbler in game six of the 1986 World Series that somehow slipped through the legs of Bill Buckner. They went on to win that game, and then the next game, that World Series, Bobby Bonilla, still getting paid by the Mets. Lee Smith, 478 career saves. He is a Hall of Famer. Here he is featured with the Cubs, but he also saved games for the Cardinals, the Orioles, I believe the Yankees as well. Steve Sachs. Here he is with the Yankees, but uh, his better days were with the Dodgers. That's where he made at least one All-Star team. Ernest Riles, we got here coming attractions in the form of, I thought that was Mike Piazza there for a second, Rod Bolton and James Baldwin. Bob McClure. Doc, Dwight Gooden. Here he is featured with the Yankees. That's where he won. I think he won a total of three World Series. One with the Mets, two with the Yankees, possibly three with the Yankees. Also pitched for Cleveland and Houston. One of those cases of what could have been had he just kept his nose clean. Nonetheless, the Mets, not too long ago, they retired his number at City Field. Uh, Rance Mullenix, Lenny Webster. What do we got here? We got Jay Bruce. He was known to hit a home run or two. Here he is featured with the Reds. Danny Darwin. Lee Gutterman. Denny Martinez. Also pitched for the Expos, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, these were great looking cards to have. These were considered higher end cards. Uh, maybe $4 a pack back in 91. Pete Harnish. Terry Pendleton, who was the MVP winner in 1992. Barry Bonds was the runner up. Probably if Bonds wasn't such a jerk. He was probably more deserving of that MVP award. Nonetheless, Pendleton, MVP winner for the Braves. Also spent time with the Cardinals. Is here. Who do we got here? This is uh, Greg Briley, Jerome Walton. Played with the Cubs. He played for some other teams too as well. I can't. I don't think he was Rookie of the Year. He might have finished very high in Rookie of the Year voting, but he did not win Rookie of the Year. Harold Reynolds, prolific base stealer who went on to become and still is a wonderful commentator for ESPN Baseball. That is John Valentin. Jack Lazorco. Not familiar with him. I am familiar with Alan Trammell. He is a Hall of Famer. Spent his whole career with the Tigers and got in I want to say it was his 10th year on the Hall of Fame ballot. Billy Hatcher. Pirates leaders. Looks like uh, Andy Van Slyke and Tony Gwynn, Mr. Padre. Andy Van Slyke, he won five gold gloves. He was a three-time All-Star. Best years were with the Pirates, but he had some good years with the Cardinals as well. Kevin Bass. 
This is Doug Sisk. Tim Tuffle. He was on that 86 team. Daryl Miller. Lee Smith, once again, this must be the Lee Smith box. Here he is featured with the uh, Red Sox. Bob Forsh, Mike Aldretti, Sean Dunstan. Dick Schofield, Hall of Famer, part of the 3,000 hit cup, Paul Molitor. The discussion was made, will Shohei Otani be the first DH to win an MVP award? There are two players, both in the Hall of Fame, that finished runner-up in MVP voting. One was Big Poppy David Ortiz, and the other one, Paul Molitor. He was known to steal a base or two, and uh, he's a World Series winner as well. Keith Atherton, Tommy Gregg. Dale Sfium, Hall of Famer Dave Winfield. He's also part of that 3,000 hit club finish with 465 home runs. Here he is featured with the Yankees. Also spent time with the Blue Jays. Uh, boy, I'm having a brain fart. Blue Jays, Angels, Twins. I want to say the Padres as well. But nonetheless, Hall of Famer. And uh, we got here a pack of, what year is this? Don Russ Baseball. Nineteen ninety? No, 1987 Don Russ. All right. Uh, Guy Hoffman, Gene Larkin, Jose DeLeon, Cal Ripken, the Iron Man. 431 career home runs. He is a two-time MVP and a World Series winner. Great ambassador for baseball. Eddie Williams, Pete O'Brien, Glenn Hubbard, Robbie Wine, Roger McDowell. I think he was on that 86 Mets team. Also appeared in the World Series with my Phillies in 92 where they lost to the Blue Jays. Mike Krukow, Willie Randolph. He made a few all-star teams. Here he is featured with the Yankees, but he played for several other teams as well. Gold Glove winner, Claudel Washington, Lance McCullers. Harold Reynolds, once again. Dwayne, I don't know how to pronounce his last name, so I'm not going to. Benito Santiago, he was an all-star catcher. He was also one of those lesser-known names that was wrapped up in the Balco scandal. And uh, that is it. That is it for this uh, baseball rip. Thank you so much for watching. A little bit of modern-day cars, but more so emphasis on the junk wax. A strong emphasis on the word junk. Uh, thanks again for watching. Be sure to hit like and subscribe. Have yourselves a wonderful day.